Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Kinney and Pageant Network. My name is Maya Santana Pilar, and I am your host for tonight's topic or today's topic. I have a very special guest with you all. Um, he's a very special person, um, a leading international pageant director. He is the current president of Miss Teen International pageants and Miss Multinational pageants. And he's based in India. He's no other than Nikhil Anand. Hi, Nikhil. Hi, Maya. Thank you for having me on Facebook Live. It's really great interacting with you and all the people watching us live today. It looks so bright right now in India. How? What time is it there? It's 1.30 a.m. at night. I'm, 1.30 a.m. at night. Yes. Nice place, nice background. I like the um, architecture of the window and everything. Yes, thank you. I do miss India. Um, I was in India during the Miss Teen International 2018 pageant. And um, we visited a lot of very uh, nice um, spots. Yes. Put your microphone closer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it is it audible now? Yes. 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 Okay. So I'm going to talk about right now because people would like to know how did you get started in the world of fashion and pageantry, Nikhil? Okay. It started in the year 2014. Like I started my company in 2013, but yes, the initial two years were on a lower side when I was just struggling to get into this industry and uh, as every all the entrepreneurs face I also face so many difficulties so let's not give any excuse to that but yes that really helped me learn a lot and later on in the year 2015 I started with my national competition when I had acquired Miss International Miss Earth franchise for India and then uh, our national person got famous. Later, I started connecting to more and more people and, and I wanted to have my own international person. And then later I started, I just initiated, I continued Miss Teen International and I uh, started Miss Multinational. Okay, so let's talk first about the Miss Teen International because this was um, this pageant actually started in Costa Rica, and so you bought the franchise and you bought the rights and the ownership. So yes. tell us um, about this pageant, um, because obviously we want to bring awareness, especially for a lot of the people um, who were connected in the old management of Miss Dean International, right? So, so I would say that oh. Taking, uh, like keeping the Miss Teen International brand in mind, we would always wish that okay, it remains as the world's number one teen pageant, and we're working hard to have the only professional director. And we have stuck to it that we have not been giving the franchise just like that, and we have stuck with the professional direct directors. We are very much uh, particular about all our national directors. They should be dedicated to the brand. And now that we are approaching to the 24th edition this year and 25th edition, this will be next year. So I have different plans in mind. I have so many uh, things in mind. We'll be in, like increasing the production standards so that it meets the standards like what we see at the big four pageants internationally. So the teen pageants should also have such kind of uh, production standards, the opportunities for the winner, media coverage, press conference, even this year, like almost more than 250 media houses covered Miss Teen International and it was massive. It was after such a long break that almost 250 media houses covered the Miss Teen International. So I would want that this keeps growing and the entire world keeps on covering it and the winner gets more and more recognition. So yeah, because I remember last year it was supposed to be held in the, in, um, in the Philippines yeah. and Obviously, um, sponsorship was not um, was not was not able to be worked with in regards with the host country and the, the national directors from the Philippines. So you had to uh, put it back in the last minute in India, exactly. right? And um, yeah, so the, the, that's the reason why we are, were also affected with that because of the fact that 
it was like a sudden change. And we're really hoping that um, the, the, the 2020 pageant would be amazing. Aside from having the COVID-19 yes. <laughs> pandemic. We'll recover as soon as possible and we get back to our normal life. Yes. Well, how, let me ask you, how, how is the pandemic there in India? Because it looks like you guys are um, handling it very well. Aside from I'm seeing like the, the cops or the police hitting okay. with a stick with the local people. Okay, I'll tell you how is it. It's the biggest lockdown with 1.3 billion people at home. And I'm glad that people over here have actually considered the lives of the people ahead of the economy. The government has also taken the lives of the people seriously ahead of the economy. I know that the economy is going to be affected, but yes, we do care about the lives of our people and the death rate is very low as compared to the other country. It's very low. Even the cases that are coming, it's quite less compared to the population. And uh, I'm glad people are helping, helping the government to maintain this. Unfortunately, they, we all know that in all the countries, we have some people who try to break the law who try to create a different situation. But in any manner, I am really happy that how Indians have actually come up together and uh, the way they have actually taken this lockdown very seriously and have helped the government. I think it's going to be extended for one more month. But nevertheless, I hope that we can... Put your mic closer because the last thing that you said, I didn't hear it. I'm saying that I hope that we get out of this... <laughs> because we are also uh, facing the economic crisis. But yes, the Indians are really doing very well. And I hope that we'll have the vaccine very soon because the Indian scientists are working day and night today. Okay. If you can put your mic closer so that like I can hear hear it clearly. Yeah. So um, because that's a lot of, uh, a lot of people have a concern of like maybe because of the pandemic and India, being too far away, I'm sure that a lot of people would like to get like a security um, from you being the international and the hosting director for Miss Dean International, Miss Multinational, um, that they would like to get that guarantee that it will be all okay because of the fact that like people don't want to be infected. Higher your volume. I can't hear. Yeah. We have kept certain things in mind. Like when we start closer, closer to your mouth, please. Sorry. Is it fine? Is it fine? No. Hello. Is it fine? Uh, no. A while ago, when you started, it was okay. So. Okay. Is, it, is it fine now? No. Sorry. Okay. Speak again. Is it fine? Uh, I can hear you, but still a little like uh. I'll try it without the earphone. Like I think it's working. Fine. Is it working fine? Perfectly. Actually, that is much better. Yes. So, so uh, what I was saying that this year, what we have planned that we'll be actually screening all the candidates and the attendees coming for the event. We'll have the COVID test of each and every candidate with the rapid test kit, which gives the result in maybe less than 30 minutes. And mm -hmm. all the team members will also be tested continuously for at least two weeks before the competition starts. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. And like, yeah, because that's the main concern about other people. Because if we do not take care, then again, the same situation will get distributed to all the countries worldwide and all the countries will be affected. So we will be taking care of it. And uh, I'm sure that everybody will support us when we go with the basics because our team will definitely be uh, very much concerned about it and we'll definitely take care of everybody and health of everyone is always a priority. Okay. And a lot of people are also actually concerned too, because they don't want to be put when they arrive in India and then maybe the Indian airport staff and the government would tell them, oh, you need to stay for two weeks of quarantine in yeah. India, which is going to be hard, right? So no, what I think what, once the problem like goes away, once this COVID-19 comes in control, 
what definitely the government will be taking certain precautions because they'll be uh, checking the temperature of everyone coming to India and they'll advise because we'll all, always be in touch with the government. So we'll take care that our guests do not face problems and we'll make sure that, okay, they are tested carefully without having any problem and uh, they do not have any problem at the airport. Okay, that's great to know. So, um, let me ask this um, because I just want, during the SARS pandemic, did India get affected? No, I'll tell you what happened that when SARS came to India, India immediately created the vaccine. Wow. And That's actually the vaccine was created by India. So, and uh, even at the point of SARS, uh, India distributed the vaccine worldwide. That's good to hear. Because I know it's actually uh, a news right now that the Canadian government actually hired a pharmaceutical yes. company in yes. India to create um, a test medication for yeah. COVID-19. So yes. have you heard that news in India? Yes. Uh, the thing is that the only effective medicine right now for COVID-19 is hydroxychloroquine. Because I'm a science student, so I know about that medicine and all. And India exports almost 70% of hydroxychloroquine worldwide. So India, oh. it's, India is actually sending that to almost all the countries worldwide to fight this pandemic. And uh, India is hopeful that they'll be able to get the vaccine as soon as possible. Okay, because in this, like, that's what Trump has been promoting. But a lot of people were saying that it was not that effective um, yes. for, the, for the COVID patients in in. Um, yeah. In, yeah. ca in America, in the United States. So what will it make it work, do you think? I believe that everybody should think of the lives. It's not only about the lives of life of a particular person, because if one gets affected, there are chances that the others will get affected and it keeps on spreading. So it's not only about one individual right now, it's about the entire society, entire country. And okay. I believe that everybody should take it as the whole nation as the whole world and so some humanity i know that we are going to lose our money we are going to face problems but at the end life is important okay so let's talk about missing international now what are people have to expect um for the 2020 missing international pageant what is 2020 that they have to look forward to? The dates that we have proposed right now is 10th to 20th November. Okay. And you must be knowing Diwali is the India's biggest festival and it falls on 14th November. Oh, that's nice. So it will be <laughs> a grand, um, grand celebration. Yes. So what we are planning that I, we had a theme in mind that we'll dress all the girls coming out from all across the world in the Indian attire. Nice. We'll, yeah, we'll book a palace and then we can have all the candles everywhere, almost 50,000 candles. And then we'll celebrate the Diwali festival. Oh, that's nice. I remember when we were in India, um, the things that actually we went to, we went to the Lotus Temple and yes. then we went to Taj Mahal. Akshadha. And yes. then we went to that... Um, that Akshana. vegetarian restaurant where there was a dancer <laughs> and we were treated like it was like you're a royalty it was really nice yes That's and true. for all people who don't know about india like you don't have nothing to worry about when it comes to safety because it was very secure um the the, the nikhil had a lot of staff who like they provided bodyguards to all the girls and including all the directors as, as well in the company. Yes. So safety is very important for them. And I've seen it and I felt like a celebrity. Well, I'm a public figure, but like I felt like a celebrity in India. So yes. in the hotel, the Radisson Inn was really nice. Great hotel because it's actually just new, you know? Yes. And let me tell you about being strict. The management of um, Nikhil doesn't let us, even even us who are adults, to go out of the hotel on a certain time, on a certain time of the night. You know, we are yes. all like guarded. That's that's how wonderful it is. And um, 
I just wanted to ask, and also just to let you know, anything that we have here in the Western part of our country, they have it. They have Domino's, they have KFC, they have McDonald's, Burger King, they have every single thing. The only thing that they don't is they don't, they don't serve beef and yeah. pork. And it's yeah. because of religious purposes. And yes. when you're visiting a country, you have to respect those, you know? But again, I'm telling you, um, it, the food is amazing. And if you are a big fan of Indian food, you are in paradise, you know? So that's true. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about the Miss Multinational pageant. Yeah. But before that, I just wanna say, I just wanna ask you, as the president of Miss Teen International, yes. people would like to know, what is actually the platform of Miss Teen International? I would say that uh, we always look for a confident girl who can represent the brand. And uh, the way we are growing, we want our queens to be very much confident who can also go to different countries. We are focusing that, okay, our queens get to travel more and more now. And definitely taking the security and the basics in mind, we'll definitely want our queens to have more and more exposure so that they get to meet more people, they get to interact with more media. We are uh, going to like enhance the crown, we are going to enhance the stays and everything. So we are taking everything into consideration so that it is also considered, it is uh, like people do not find it anywhere less than the big pageants like Miss World or Miss Universe. And I can tell that because when we were in that theater where the finals was held, I forgot what the name of it. What was the name of that theater Kingdom again? Kingdom of Dreams. Oh, Kingdom of Dreams. I feel like I'm in Egypt, you know, like there was like a pyramid and everything. And the theater is so nice, world, world class. And the stage, I mean, it has a revolving center stage and a big stage and then LED lights like lead screens on each corner. So I can say it's world-class facility. And I like, I, it was, it's very colorful and the, the theater alone itself, it's actually very comfortable. The seats are so nice and the sound system is amazing, air conditioned. Yes. So again, for people who have not been into India, believe me, this complex is world-class. So, yes. Let's talk about Miss Multinational because a lot of people are wanting to know how did you start the Miss Multinational pageant? Okay, so I always wanted to have my own international pageant, but my major focus was the name should be a simple one because I, the name should be attractive because it makes the pageant unique and something that cannot be copied because if we talk about Miss Tourism or some other pageants, there are almost 10, 20 pageants happening with a prefix or suffix because people are in Miss Tourism World, Miss Tourism International, something like that. So I wanted to have a unique name that cannot be destroyed by the other people who want to start their own pageant. And then I want a simple name so that I want to make it big. That is why when I started, like most of our franchise holders are the franchise holders who send also send the girls to Miss World and Miss Universe. So now we have almost 35 potential national directors across the world. And the national directors are really, really good. So now we expect that hopefully, like people do some uh, Bazin networks do consider it as one of the top 10 events in the world. And I hope that we get to see it in top six or top seven very soon. That's actually a, a good thing to have that goal, you know, because every, yes. everybody wanted to be in that top That's true. pop or top pageants to compete yes. in. So even this year, I'll tell you, we have introduced the new crown design for Miss Multinational. It's very unique and it's very beautiful. We'll reveal that once uh, the pageant happens and I'm sure that everybody is going to love it. Okay, so um, I wanted to know, and I, I'm sure a lot of people would like to find out because some people were saying, oh, you know, in India, they, don't, they won't really need, they don't really do a swimsuit competition because of religious purposes. But I can tell you, um, when I was there, there was a swimsuit competition. And yes. um, what are your views on that? Because I'm sure a, a lot of people would like to know. Okay, so in India, like, 
uh, the society is very different because they're still understanding the culture across the world. And it's not that they have not started accepting it, but yes, when they just imagine, when they just uh, just imagine, they just frame the swim, swimsuit round in their mind, they think that, okay, it goes against the ethics and the culture that we have been following. But yes, when they come across the pageant, they understand how beautifully we take care of each candidate. How do we take care that no candidate feels like, okay, they are being stalked or somebody is looking at them in a bad way. When they actually see that the staff is very professional and things are done in a very professional way, keeping the things in mind that no girl feels uncomfortable, then they have, then they understand and then they also ask others to understand and that is how things are changing. People are actually adapting the new things and they appreciate, they have started appreciating it as an as an important segment of the peasant, not as a swimsuit run, okay, this uh, denotes the vulgarity or something. They Now they have started accepting, the, okay, it is a part and parcel of the swimsuit of the uh, peasant and it is an important segment which actually helps the judges to judge the contestants better. Okay, because we want to, I want to ask you, Feminine Miss India and other national pageants, do they have a swimsuit competition right now on stage or? Okay, I, I we have three major national competitions in India. One is Feminine Miss India, Glamour Supermodel India and Miss Eva. One is owned by me. Femina Miss India sends the girls to Miss World. That is why they have removed the swimsuit round. However, it remained earlier. In the past, they had the swimsuit round even on the uh, national finale since the beginning. Now, Miss Diva and Glamour and Supermodel, they both have the swimsuit round in the preliminary and on the national finale as well. Okay. So, Miss Femina doesn't have a swimsuit round anymore. Now, they do not have. Yes. Yeah, but because I remember um, they Miss, uh, Miss Femina actually are, um, chooses the winner for the Indian representative to Miss World and Miss Universe, correct? And yes. But now Miss Diva is also owned by Miss Femina. Isn't it correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So they just had to do a separate pageant because of how the demands of the international pageant. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So just to let everybody know, the Glamnand um, Supermodel International is the... Um, national pageant of India that chooses the winner for Miss um, Multinational and Miss Miss Earth, I think. Yeah, and Miss International. And Miss International. And then um, for the teen, you have Miss Teen India International yes. that chooses yes. the winner for Miss Teen India. And for the viewers out there, Miss Canada Global Productions, the, um, for the Miss Teen Canada Globe, there's three crowns. There's Miss Teen um, Mesoamerica, and then there's Miss Teen, uh, Miss Teen Canadian Mesoamerica, Miss Teen Canadian International that goes to Miss Teen International, and Miss Teen Canada Globe that um, goes to Miss Teen Mundial and Miss Teen, uh, Miss Teen Universe. And then the Miss Canada Globe um, category, um, there is Miss Canada um miss canadian um multinational uh, miss canadian sorry miss canadian multinational that goes to miss multinational then miss canadian tourism international goes to miss tourism international and miss canada globe that goes to the miss globe so yes. these are the top three crowns for each category for canada yes. and uh, i keep on saying to my girls it's like once you go to india you'll have a great time um yes. and like uh the the amount of scenery that you go to and the amount of people that you go to and I could tell, say that like the girls actually visit schools and um so they actually do a lot of philanthropic work when they are in India while the competition is going on right so I just wanted to know and I'm sure a lot of people in um who are watching this would like to know what is the platform for Miss Multinational Miss Multinational, uh, if you see that the past winners have really done some amazing work, they are really famous, like our past winners are also doing very well. They have been doing the movies and the TV shows in their own country and uh, they are really doing very well. Probably I think uh, that initiative of me starting Miss Multinational has been really amazing and people have actually accepted Miss Multinational in a very big way. 
Okay, so I want to... Yes. I wanted to find out also because a lot of people would like to know. So what is the uh, price package for the winner of Miss Dean International and the winner of Miss Multinational? Let's not talk about the, the princesses. Just the main queens, uh, Miss Dean yes. International first. Yes. So it, it, it has been $10,000. The world price, price money, $10,000 in cash. And for Miss Multinational, is $15,000. Wow, that's actually a big cash price. So, yes. girls, I just wanted you to know, be excited because you could win $10,000 for winning Miss Dean International and $15,000 for Miss Multinational. And it's US dollars. That's the yes. amount. So, um, okay, so let's talk about how, how um, you are planning to do, what are the basis of the competition for Miss Dean International first. What are the? Basis of competition for Miss okay. Dean International. So, like we have. It's so not the same as the Miss have... because you have to base it on the age, um, age yes. bracket, right? Yeah, so, first of all, the age bracket is 14 to 19 as of the, uh, the end date of the competition. And then when this competition starts, we want someone very genuine who doesn't want to fake herself because definitely we have been into the pageantry for long. So it doesn't take us long to understand, okay, someone is pretending to be someone the girl is not actually. It's better that be genuine, be the person you are so that we also get to understand the real you. And then we can also understand that, okay, how are we going to ha have you? How do we deal with you if you are one of the winner? But definitely, if one tries to pretend to be someone she's not, then definitely it will be difficult for the organization as well. And then we have uh, so many parameters on which we keep on judging. And at the end, we just tabulate the scores and then we have the winner. Okay, so you have the swimsuit competition, which is one point yeah. of the national competition. Costume. National costume. So that's part of the of a total score to determine who will be in yes. the semifinals, right? And then evening gown. Then you have yes. the um, question and answer and interview, personal yes. interview, right? Personal interview. Personal interview. We, and we then, have a no makeup round. We have we also mark on the photo shoot the way the girls perform in the in their photo shoot. Yeah, the photo the fo photo shoot model challenge. I remember that. Yes. And then the, the no makeup round. I remember that because that's when the girls actually face the judges, and look at the uh, they look at the judges and the judges look at them with the no makeup to see the natural beauty of the girl right so yes. which is very important um and then they do actually the um talent uh, do they have talent this year yes okay so again um they have the talent part of the pageant and that determines this the semifinals for the Miss Dean International. And then on the finals, they compete for evening gown, swimsuit, and yes. on stage question. So, yes. and for Miss Multinational, what are the parameters of the competition? Miss Multinational is also about beauty with brains. Someone who is intelligent, who can speak well. Speaking skills really matter a lot. The way you can express yourself and uh, we want someone we want someone who actually aspires to influence the world and bring some positive change and they have a talent round as well right yes okay so both competitions has a talent round which also is one of um the part of the compulsive score for yes. to determine if they can who will be in the semifinals right that's true Okay, so um, now before we close this, yes. uh, Nikhil, we would like to know um, about what are the dates for Miss Multinational? Because I'm sure a lot currently of people would we, like to know that. We, currently, we are planning it for September, October, but we cannot be sure until unless we do not hear from the government because the government will be will be the part of this decision because we are waiting that okay once we recover from this pandemic so that we can uh, just choose the date as soon as possible 
and we'll have to speak we'll definitely speak to the, all the national directors once so that everybody is comfortable taking the safety of each candidate in mind and the condition of all the countries thank you so much and again nikhil when i was there i was like the yes. big sister of you of you, of you all there i'm like i'm always because of the fact that like they are, they they are really concerned about yes. how the directors feel and everything so in um what was your um opinion of me when you met me for the first time going there to india it was amazing trust me the best part about you was that you were always helpful you were not someone okay i'm here to sit and just enjoy you were like okay if the team needs help you are always there okay if our team needs help it felt like a family it did not feel like okay we are just dealing professionally it felt like a family and that's the best feeling that one can get from the other person oh that's nice that's a nice cuz a lot of people would be like oh this girl looks like a diva so i mean like i i like i i i people come across to about me in being that kind of matter but i just give my insight on how they can improve and yes. i do that because I do care about people who are and we do welcome all the suggestions very open heartedly because we want to improve and we want to make it better and better. Yes. So again, thank you so much um thank Nikhil you. and I'd like to ask you if you want to say a few words to the world who's watching right now, especially okay. um a lot of pageant directors from all over the world are watching um this yes. channel. What would you like to say to the world? Okay. we are also looking forward to welcome all the professional national directors we want to have the family bigger and make the brand bigger and better and trust me it is not possible if we do not have the amazing national directors and if someone feels that okay they can be the part of our brand our family then definitely we welcome you with open heart and i'm sure we all going to make it very big bigger than ever So Nikhil will be with us on Saturday when we crown Miss Miss Canadian Multinational which is the official Canadian representative for Miss Multinational this yes. Saturday at 9 p.m. Toronto time. So Nikhil will be with us obviously because he will be there to support our Canadian girl who will be going to India and representing uh, Canada yes. for Miss Multinational. So I will see you there on Saturday. I don't know sure, what sure, time sure. would that be in India at 9 p.m. Toronto time would be around 6:30 in the morning. 6:30 in the morning. Okay, so that will be very early for you. But I'm I'm awake. I sleep around <laughs> seven or eight eight a.m. in the morning. I I <laughs> my time is reversed. I know that. I've seen that in the pageant. <laughs> you like yes. you you like you can last for a long time at night. I know that because yes. you do actually all your work at night. So thank you again Nikhil and you. more power to you um and we're very excited to go to India and witness the 2020 pageant festival for Miss Teen International and Miss Multinational. Yes, thank you so much. No problem. Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.